All right, let's answer another math question for the multi-subject CST exam for teacher certification. Two types of elevators travel up and down inside a very tall building. One elevator starts at the first floor and stops every X floors. Another elevator starts at the first floor and stops every Y floors. Which of the following is the best way to find at which floors both elevators stop? So let's visualize this. Let's draw maybe two, not circles, let's do squares for rectangle. So we have this elevator and we have another elevator. And let's draw a couple of floors here. Can I do this? Let's try. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And let's see what's going on with, let's call this guy, the blue elevator. Let's call it elevator X. And elevator X stops at every X floors. Let's go ahead and say it stops at every, every two floors. So it stops at every, it stops at floor two, stops at floor four. Up to four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. And we'll call this elevator elevator Y, the green one, and we'll say it stops at every three floors. So it stops at floor three, six, nine, and twelve. Question again is what is the best way to find at which floors both elevators stop? So let's see, they stop at floor 12 and they stop at floor six. So what are six and 12? Well, six is a multiple of two, right? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Six is a multiple of two. And so is 12. And 3 also has 6 and 12 as multiples of 3. So 6 and 12 are multiples of 2. 6 and 12 are multiple of 3. These are multiples that 2 and 3 have in common. So these are common multiples of 2 and 3. So we can see here that the both elevators who are stopping at different floors, the first one stops at every two floors and the second one stops at every three floors, but they both stop where they have common multiples. So the best way to find which floors both elevators stop is to find the common multiples of X and Y, which is choice A. Let's see why B, C, and D are all wrong here. Let's try with B. Find the common factors of x and y. Well, what are, the, what are the factors of x and y? Well, the factors of 2 are just 2 and 1. And the factors of 3 are just 3 and 1. So what are the common factors? 1. So floor 1 is the only floor both these elevators stop at at the same time. That's not true. We just saw that. If we look at factors, we'll never see anything above 2 or 3. And it's the same reasoning for C, because we're talking about factors, B and C. What about D? It's talking about divisors. What are divisors? Well, even though it's a different word, divisors and factors are kind of the same thing. Let's, let's show you in a bigger example. Let's show you the number 10. It's a side example. What are the factors of 10? Let's see here. We have 10 and 1 and 5 and 2. What are divisors of 10? Divisors are numbers that divide into 10. 10 divides into 10. 5 divides into 10. 2 divides into 10. And 1 divides into 10. The factors of 10 are also the divisors of 10. 
So for the same reason, we also don't have choice D. Because in this case, divisors and factors mean the same thing. And I just explained why factors would not be the best way to find which floors both elevators stop.